And I actually created it, my first tutorial. I've told this story a few times. Um, my first tutorial on YouTube was actually, because I was doing YouTube before. That's like vloggy stuff uh -huh. like everyone was. But the first tutorial I did on YouTube was this virtual DJ tutorial I made for my friend um, because I was DJing parties and stuff like, you know, class party or whatever. Um, and they wanted to learn how to do it. So I made that tutorial and it went pretty viral on YouTube at the time. Damn, accidentally. Yeah. Um, like, I think it's at like half a million views oh, now or something. Holy shit. Yeah. 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 Wow. And I think a lot of those views are old views too. Uh -huh. So it kind of puts into perspective. Um, but that was like my first big video. It was probably like 50 to 100,000 views, like not that many, uh -huh. but it was a lot when you start with zero. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that kind of got my channel rolling. And I followed suit with that with some uh videos like similar kind of like how to dj and like with four tracks instead of just two mm -hmm. or like um how to use the effects in whatever dj program and um while i was working on that i kind of gained an interest in uh you know music production uh through like i was using this proprietary daw from behringer for the first like few months or whatever and then i went to garage band and then to logic mm -hmm. And eventually I landed on Ableton, which I I knew about from the DJ world because I know that Ableton is predominantly, or it started as a DJ program um, and then kind of migrated into the production world. But um, as those two kind of aligned, like I was doing the DJ tutorials and I was falling into production and I heard about Ableton from the DJ world and I decided to try it for production that's when the Ableton stuff started. So then I shifted from DJing tutorials into Ableton tutorials, like general ones. Mm -hmm. And then it became Ableton tutorials. And that's where I've sat. And that's also how I got into Ableton. Yeah. So, Do you, th um, and ever since it's been Ableton tutorials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you, would you say what, what kind of time frame was this? Like how long ago was it? Would you say you're kind of early to the game of doing the tutorial stuff on YouTube or were there already a lot of people doing it at the time? When I was making DJ tutorials, there was not a lot of guys doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, there was DJ ravine. Uh, he was really cool. I looked up to him a lot. Um, uh, Vespers, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Sadowick was around. Uh, Multiplier was also around. Um, but I was pretty new to, or I was, it was a pretty new scene uh -huh. um, when I first started doing Ableton videos, and especially the DJ ones. The DJ ones I was doing in like 2012, mm -hmm. 2013. Um, it was like this young kid teaching DJ. <laughs> I can't believe anybody <laughs> followed those. Um, but uh, the production stuff. I was not the newest, like I wasn't the the only one, like the earliest mm -hmm. doing it, but I was one of the first people doing like comprehensive video series mm -hmm. on it, um, at least on Ableton. Um, I knew of I knew of uh, Sadowick and Mr. Bill and Multiplier doing videos on Ableton, mm -hmm. but none of them were like comprehensive. Mm -hmm. And my first like breakaway hit on Ableton was how to write an EDM song from start to finish. Yeah, I've seen um, that one. Yeah, yeah. And that was like, I think one of the first comprehensive start to finish YouTube series on Ableton Live that I know of at least. Mm -hmm. There was FL Studio ones for days. Um, I remember following, I, I had a brief spat with FL and I, I decided I didn't like it. But um, <laughs> I remember there was this channel called Tornado Twins who did FL Studio and unity game engine tutorials and i had an interest in both oh yeah, so yeah. it was like the the perfect uh perfect marriage back then but um yeah so so i think i was probably one of the earlier ones mm -hmm. or at least the ones doing the comprehensive video series but i wasn't like the first on the platform by far mm. yeah because yeah. because it it's seen it's so interesting to me that that kind of giving some of that background because i think that today is interesting because there are a lot of people getting into this world where Start. I mean, starting today, you know, 2019, right. doing the, the production stuff on YouTube, there's a lot out there. So it's kind of tough for someone to have their unique voice, you know, give something that's unique in a sense where it can really stick out. I mean, do you think, do you think someone starting today has some kind of more barriers to, to get over? As far as starting on YouTube? Yeah. 
Um, there's a lot more congestion now. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Um, I even run into that in my own tutorials now, like tutorials that would have done better four years ago, or, you know, they, they have a lot more to sift through. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to really know your stuff as far as SEO goes and getting your videos to rank high and stuff like that, where it wasn't as big of a deal when there wasn't 50,000 videos, right. Compressors. (laughs) Um, (laughs) yeah, yeah. But but I mean, I still think it's possible. I think now it's more about creating something engaging than mm-hmm. it is about necessarily, or I should say presenting the information in an engaging way than it is actually presenting the information r- well, mm-hmm. because there's a um, hundred videos of people, you know, teaching you how to use this. Um, but if you can do it in a unique and entertaining way, then you have the advantage. Yeah. Or if you do it exponentially better than everyone else. Yeah. 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 That I think you've, put that perfectly because that it seems to be like those types of things are so important now because you a, have to know the SEO game. I mean, that is a, that's, that's yeah. a real challenge in itself because yeah, there's, there's so much content out there. And, and, um, it's something that I find really fascinating because I'm kind of in the early stages of starting this YouTube channel and stuff. So I'm like learning more and more about it. I didn't know anything about SEO a couple, couple yeah. months ago, you know, it's, it's there, there's, there's a lot to learn out there, but, um, it's just, these are the kind of, conversations I love because you, uh, I think to a lot of people and to myself or someone who started and just kept doing it for a long time and just kept right. your craft, kept working at it. And over time it builds and, and things start opening up and different paths open up. And that's, that's the most important part. Yeah. Keeping with it. Yeah, that's for sure. Speaking of which, I need to make some YouTube videos. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, 